ABC 10 News reporter Nia Watson has more on their honor flight experience and what it meant to them. In true patriotic fashion, hundreds showed up at the San Diego International Airport to welcome back our local heroes. Most of them don't know that there's going to be sometimes a thousand people here to greet them. For these veterans, the perfect end to an unforgettable weekend. This is wonderful for all these for all these veterans. That's kind of like B-Day all over again. How'd you guys, how'd you guys get all these guys people to go? This year, Honor Flight San Diego flew 85 World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War veterans to D.C. to tour their war memorials. The trip made possible with the help of donations and volunteers like Leslie Granger and Gary Zygschmidt. It's such a quick trip, and, and there's, there's so much going on during that trip, so many uh, monuments to see, and it, it, it really is something. During the trip, veterans attended the changing of the guard ceremony at the Arlington National Cemetery. They then visited war and military memorials to reflect on their service before ending at the National Navy Yard Museum. The weekend, an emotional one for many, including Korean War veteran Richard Birch. Oh, it means everything. Just, it just uh, brings tears to my eyes. Thank you. Neil Watson, ABC 10 News. And this is the second flight back since honor flights were grounded during the pandemic. And Leah was honored to go on the last on last year's flight. So many of those goosebump moments that we just saw and you experienced those yourself. Yeah, and really, truly, there are no words to describe mm -hmm. what those vets go through when they're on this trip. This is some of the video I took of them on the October flight. For many of them, it's it's camaraderie. It's being mm -hmm. together among people who know exactly what they've been through. It brings back emotions. That's the World War II memorial right there that you're seeing. When those World War II vets go there and they, they think of those those uh, brothers and sisters who, who they lost, it brings back a lot that they haven't thought about in 75 years or maybe that they've carried with them for 75 years. So it's it's truly an emotional weekend. Yeah, all of uh, all of what we just saw, your heart just swells uh, seeing that. It's so emotional yeah. and things are going to change. Yeah. Um, this was kind of an historical um, flight. This right. Week. So this flight specifically was big uh, mm -hmm. because this is one of the last ones before they open it up to the Vietnam era. So San Diego is unique because we have so many veterans in our community. They've been prioritizing World War II and Korean War vets. We're one of the last hubs in the country that still has so many to get through and they're constantly looking for those older veterans to get on this trip. But come fall, they're going to be opening it up to Vietnam veterans. Uh, in the fall, the next trip, it's going to be all Sea Wolves, which uh, that's a group of, of vets who were commissioned and decommissioned in Vietnam. So that's going to be their kind of kickstart to getting Vietnam vets on this trip. So this is going to be a really exciting next chapter for Honor Flight. And I know you said this was uh, one of the most meaningful yeah. experiences that you've had yep. as a reporter. So maybe you get to go again. Oh, yeah, we'll Fingers see. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs>